Today I will be unboxing the Hisense Roku TV. It's a 48 inch version, uh, series H4, and I just purchased it from Walmart. It came in this box from Hisense. This is what you see inside. You get the actual TV box, and then the first two things you see are these legs, which have already been open from their original packaging and now I am recording. So that's what you get. You cut open the box. The two legs are right there. And then here's what the inside looks like when you take the styrofoam off. Again it's the H4 series 48 inch TV from Hisense Roku. Really excited about it some of the features from the box. Now we're going to take the TV out. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. So that's what it looks like. Not too heavy. 10 or so pounds. Here is what came inside the box after you take the screen out. So we have, first thing we have is the remote control. So as you can see, power button, arrow keys, directional keys, OK. Fast forward, rewind, pause, play. It has a volume button. A Netflix, Amazon, this one has Showtime and Sling TV. It's really light, really tiny for comparison. It's right in the hand. Let's see if we can spot for two triple A's. Next we have some screws that we'll have to use to put the stand together. Power cable your standard one. End user license agreement. Safety information and warranty card, which is always good to keep a to keep for your records. I guess a little Roku booklet. That's nice. High sense thank you for choosing them. Here's the actual Hisense Roku TV H4 series booklet, quick start guide. Just finger through how to set up the remote, a bunch of different languages. And lastly, oops, two triple A's. So now you want to go ahead and install the legs. You just go right in don't seem to snap in, which is a little strange. Just set it in there. Looks pretty good to me. It's time to go ahead and turn it on. This is what it looked like when you turn it on for the first time. Alright, looks like we can go ahead and set it up. Go ahead, connect to your um, Wi Fi. After you go ahead and put in your password, this is what happens next. It's going to ask you to update. TV's restarting after the update. Here's the menu. So you'll go to the page, hit submit. Oops, gotta actually hit that 
I agree to read. Got to create a Roku account, it looks like, so. Yeah, so that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, and feel free to comment and click like below.